As you all know, you're not supposed to do any underwater breath holding. But there is a way that you can increase your lung capacity, your lung functionality, and the ability to hold your breath underwater when the time comes and uh, you have to perform that particular skill. And what we do is, for lung functionality, is we create a increased vacuum and an increased pressure in our lung capacity. And the way to do that is you just take a deep inhalation, as deep as you can, and then do five more. And you probably get to where you're going to cough, and if you do, that means that you've gone as far as you can. Then you're going to exhale, and then exhale five more times. Repeat that process multiple times, and you do that daily, and that's going to help work on your lung functionality. Now, again, if you're going out for one of the spec war programs, you sign a document saying that you will not do breath holding underwater. Okay? So do not do that. You will die if you pass out. It's called a shallow water blackout. We've had too many guys do that. Not guys that we've been training, but throughout the United States we've heard of individuals that have died by uh, shallow water blackout. So do not practice that at all. What I'm showing you is what you can do sitting here on land. Do not do it while you're driving. Now here is basically how you maintain longevity or be able to swim longer when you do eventually have to do that underwater breath hold. The way you do that is what I call false breathing. False breathing is you take that deep breath and hold it. And you hold it as long as you can. And then when you need to, you false breathe. You act like you're pushing out and act like you're sucking in with no air exchange at all. So basically you're gonna go, and when you need to, you're gonna go. And then when that's not working anymore, you do a little puff of air. And then repeat. What you're doing is moving your diaphragm. So you just repeat that process, and you'll be able to actually hold your breath a lot longer than uh, you currently can. Again, do not do any underwater breath holding whatsoever. Do not do it while you're driving. Don't be trying to hold your breath. Okay, this is something if you're sitting at home playing Call of Duty or PlayStation or something like that. You know, nobody's around, you're holding your breath, and you pass out. One of two things are going to happen. One, you're going to pass out and look stupid, but and you're not going to fall on the ground, and you're going to be able to wake up, and life's good again.